that you can like see your trim in the water. Uh, but that seems like a lot of work just to get one little light on the second stage. I presume there's more going to it. And you can see a glimpse of that port in this frame. Uh, on the first stage, I presume underneath like a rubber cowl that you pull back, there's probably going to be a traditional 3 8 maybe half, um, but probably 3 8 uh, fitting and a cable that attaches here. So the electronics cable and then the, uh, the air hose. Um, on this frame of the video, it suggests that it will all talk to a boat on the surface. Similar to other wireless systems we've seen uh, over the years, you can have a like a separate system, a, a transmitter receiver that you can lower down into the water and then plug that into a laptop on the boat for surface cover to monitor all divers. Uh, they use the word sonar in the press release, so I presume it's similar to the Garmin sonar system for greater range. Now, I know the comment sections at least the ones that I've seen, haven't been very kind to the AquaSense so far. But I do like to give things the benefit of the doubt when they're new, and I would like to try it out and, uh, and get a closer look at it. Hopefully Aqualung will bring one to the Go Diving show this March. You can buy your tickets. Um, but let me know what you think about it down in the comments. It's, it is honestly nice to see a company venture something new into the recreational diving market and not just like rebadge some simple design changes and release something that we've already seen just in a different color this year. Um, but yeah, let me know your thoughts down in the comments. Thank you for watching and of course, safe diving.